Send your friends my way. Tell them Amelia will set them up right. Okay. And a cheer, uh, a funeral. I was about to say cherry funeral, but it's really no such thing. Oh, well, maybe an Irish wake, but still. Enna Bellinaris. From the form, we bring forth the eternal. Thanks, Rook, for coming. I don't think I could have done this alone. We're a team. We stick together, no matter what. Still, I appreciate it. Anyways, we need to light three more braziers. Each one represents an aspect of the self. It's close to what we've always done. The Dalish, I mean. But the ancient elves used veil fire to show our connection to the Fade. Or so the Archive tells me anyways. I think it's what Syrian would have wanted. I know it's hard, but you can do this. I already buried him once. At least this time, it's for real. Let's head to the first brazier. Uh, isn't this the first one? Okay, the first brazier should be ahead somewhere. How far? However far it needs to be, I guess. Hi. Lara. Hey, Erlen. Look, if you need to talk, let me know. I don't want our history to make things awkward, and I'm still your friend, you know? Anyways, time to light the first brazier. We grant to the stars to speak your life to the firmament. Am I doing this right? I don't know. The archive wasn't much help. It told me the words, but words are only part of it. Rituals aren't just about what you say, it's why and how you say it. Reclaiming the past was never going to be easy, but you have to start somewhere. Why not here? Syrian made it sound so simple. Learn the past, and then live it. But so much is different. Who we are now is as important as who we were. I just wish it were easier. Okay, um, let's head to the next brazier. It's unusual to see all these obstacles in the way of a funeral. Death's hard to deal with, though. No matter where you come from. Each obstacle is supposed to represent grief and moving past it, literally. But, yeah, it's a little weird. Probably. Syrian would have laughed at it. Okay, on to the next brazier. So what do you think is out there? I don't know. Could be anything, really. That's kind of the magic. Okay. Hey, Nev. Nev, what are you doing 
here. What? You know I show up for you, Belle. They'd only let one of us come, though. The rest send their regards, especially Emric. I'm just... Wow. Thank you, Nev. And everyone else. Hey, as long as I'm around, you've got family. All right, go on and light the brazier. A third we grant to the sea, to carry you to distant shores. Syrian always wanted to see what was across the ocean, not Parvalin. I mean, really across the other parts of the world. I wonder if the Evanurus ever left Thetis. Maybe when all this is over, we'll find a boat and go see what's out there. Maybe things went differently, you know, somewhere else. Without the exalted marches, without Tevinter, what does that even look like? Maybe better, or maybe not, but different? More of us alive, and probably free. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, one more brazier to go. Uno más. That the archive might change now that Anoris is gone. I mean, I'm guessing it didn't. He called me a witless fool three times when it was teaching me about ancient elven funerals. I thought Dalish clans planted trees for their funerals. This is what we've always done, that I remember, anyway. Well, we didn't use ancient magic before. First time I went to a funeral was for my grandmother. I was seven, had to climb through a bunch of fallen trees. By the time I got to the end, I was dirty and tired and sad, but not as sad as I thought I'd be. So I guess it worked. At least a little bit. Hmm. Bellara, I'm sorry about Syrian. Thanks, Strife. I'm glad you're here. He was one of us, even if he never officially joined. He died protecting Arlathan, even knowing the cost. Saving the world. Seems like it might run in the family. Time to light the last brazier. And a third, we return to the infinite, to find their way to the sanctum of the eternal. And that's it. The words we used to say, according to the archive, at least. It's close to what we say now, not the same, but nearly. And it's what he would have wanted. Mm. Let's go that way. Yeah. Sounds nice. The Sanctum of the Eternal. It's a lot more hopeful than some funerals I've been to. Maybe that's why I'm not sadder. I mean, I'm mostly okay. Not amazing, not great, but okay. We found it. That connection. What Syrian and I were looking for. When he came back, it hurt again. Worse, almost. But this time... I got to say goodbye. And now I have to live my life. That's all I can do for either of us. Mm. Making it from one day to the next is pretty tough some days. But we do it. And it's enough. Right. One foot in front of the other. I don't know what our people's future looks like. But now they know their past, and they have a future. I hope... I hope you've found peace, wherever you are now. Doreth, Shural, and Ha Belenaris. Siri, I love you.
Uh, why is it saying Venatoria Annihilate? Hello? Watch ahead. Yeah, I know I got this chest. This must be one of those Venatori camp strike warned us about. All right, let's finish off his quest. Go see all the griffins. Eldon, how's the training going? Just a minute. Poachers are nearby. The Huller are in trouble. <laughs> uh, training's going slowly. Go. Maybe try asking them nicely. I won't be there the day the real hunters show up. No time to be polite. What about belly rubs? <laughs> You're the one leading the charge against the gods? Carrot before the stick. <laughs> Looks like you met your match there, Eldrin. They know none of this is real. Won't waste the effort. You need to rouse the raptor in them. That gives me an idea. Wait, what's wait, 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 hold up. I didn't sign up for this. An untarmed hunter's nearby. Attack! Um. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. That's just rude. Bully the dwarf. Typical elves. <laughs> I don't care about increasing necrotic damage. Anybody want to have a chat? Oh, thank God. Okay, Emmerich, let's do let's do your thing. Mm. 
Sure, I'll bring Lucanus. Okay, so the plan is basically to sneak around, find Hezenkos's lantern, and smash it. That's quite a crowd over in the manor. Johanna's gathering. If she's mingling there, we'll be spotted. Why is Manfred here? Fortunately, we have someone who could pass as a servant. Oh, he's going undercover. Manfred, can you pour fancy wine and nod? Send him in. Right, Manfred. You're to find Johanna's guests and help us gather information on where her workshop might be. We'll be watching in case anything occurs. We must protect Manfred. Something's going to occur. Once we find and destroy Johanna's lantern, we'll end whatever she's planning. Hopefully before she introduces the lantern to her guests. Did we ever get Lucanus to have... No, he didn't get his... The, his special gear yet. That should be enough time for Manfred to blend in as Oh, that reminds me. Sorry. Let's find a place inside to observe him. Quietly. Right. Blend in. Wait, can I take maybe a side entrance? Would that help? Because we l lowered this thing last time. Sounds like the party's in that main hall where we confronted Hezenkos. Perfect. We can watch Manfred discreetly from the balconies. And see if Hezenkos has that lantern on her. Where's Hessenkos? Where's Manfred? There's Manfred. And Johanna. But no lantern. Now, you were saying about a shrine in the manor. Wait, where's Manfred? Yes. Shrine revealed by a spectral tome, which, as an expert, I could read if our host ever lets me into the library. Oh, there he is. An ancestral shrine. I could question the deceased there about the location of Johanna's lantern. Well, if the book can lead us to the shrine, let's hit the library. The library's to the east, right? Where we closed Hezenkos' portal into the Fade. Why did she return to this mansion? Johanna must have a workshop hidden here. Like yeah, probably through the door I couldn't find a way into last time. With this lantern. Oh, sub demons. We're not alone here. Okay, I can't parry them if they all hit the railing. Hopefully, they won't notice a little bit of noise going on.
I'd expected Johanna to post more guards. Maybe she didn't want to scare her guests. Let's see if we can find that book pointing to the ancestral shrine. Nothing about a shrine here. And what's a romance doing under geography? Hmm? You really gonna question her like sorting methods right now? What about this? <sighs> that book just snarled at me. Ah. There's our spectral tome. Well done. It's not opening. One must be delicate. That guest of Johanna's claims it's to be like an expert in spectral literature. like the monster book in Harry Potter where you have to stroke the spine. The Let's have Manfred hand him the book. See what he says. But isn't Manfred in the hall? Oh nope, never mind. What's up, my guy? Were you waiting for us? Manfred, take this tome to the man asking about the shrine, please. Couldn't get into that chest last time. It irks me. To Blackthorn Manor. There now. I only want to look up one thing. Ah, there is an ancestral shrine in the northwest wing. Perfect. Let's go to the shrine. Yes, the deceased there should be most helpful in finding Johanna's lantern. Okay. This way to the shrine. I've never been to a party with so many mages without being hired to kill one of them. Without well, being hired to kill fair. Always mages? Not all the time. But how do we kill Hezengars? Does she even breed? It's unlikely. The stilling of the lungs is one of the first blessings of undeath. Don't worry. We'll find a way. The shrine's locked. We must find a... Manfred? What's he got there? Manfred with the key. The key He's the he is the goat. Excellent, Manfred. Manfred is the goat. Oh my! A body from the house of the Verheims prepared during the Storm Age. We can come back for it after. Excellent idea. <laughs> Time to find Hesinkos. He's all yours, Emric. By flame. And seal by light and flood. Open your eyes once more. <sighs> Who dares disturb? Friends to the dead. Friends, this one was abandoned, lost. Emric, it's getting noisy. He's unusually obstinate. Speak. Where is Hesenkos? Prove yourselves. What claim have you to the deceased? <laughs> A willing dead companion. This one concedes. Hello. <laughs> it's when can he talk? Like one hanging behind Look, us? Did you hear that? Manfred just... I know. Also, we should move. Oh, he can talk. Manfred, say something else. Come now, you just spoke. We have to go. Yes, uh, yes. 
Is that a loo here? Well, the red trap trees got it, but uh, loot. Ah. There's the chest that irked me so much last time. Come on, you can do it, bud. There we go. Just noticed. Not there we go. More on death. Hmm. It's not a okay, he got one in, so it's not bullying anymore. Alright, is that red tapestry? Hmm. This wall looks huh. Secret door. Manfred, could you please squeeze through and open the door from the other side? Yes! Yet? Uh -huh. Holy shit! I knew I didn't imagine him speaking. How can Manfred talk now? 